Now let us take question number 56. Here this question is belonging to topic circles and the question states a line from one vertex A on an equilateral triangle ABC meet the opposite side at BC in P and the circumcircle of triangle ABC in Q. If BQ is equal to 4 centimeter and CQ is equal to 3 centimeter, then we have to determine the length of line segment PQ. Now, let us draw the diagram that represent the given information in this question. Here we can see that we have an equilateral triangle ABC which is circumscribed by this circle and we are drawing a line segment from this vertex A and passing through the opposite side in point P and then it intersects the circumcircle at point Q here. So, first of all here we can see that why this measure of angle APQ is equal to 60 degree because it is equal to the measure of angle ABC angles in same segment. Further we can write the measure of angle AQB is equal to the measure of angle ACB angles in same segment. So, here we can see that this PQ is the angle bisector of angle BQC that means we can apply the concept of angle bisector theorem and we can relate the ratio of BP and PC is equal to 4 is to 3 because here the length of BQ is given 4 centimeter and the length of QC is equal to 3 centimeter. So, here we can write the length of PC is equal to 3 upon 7 times the length of line segment BC. Now, let us mark this equation as an equation number 1. Further, here we will take two triangles, triangle BPQ and triangle APC. In triangle BPQ and triangle APC. So, what we can observe in these two triangles? Here we can see that the vertically opposite angles are equal. That means the measure of angle BPQ is equal to measure of angle APC. Second thing, the measure of angle BQP is equal to the measure of angle ACP. That means we get two similar things. That means here we can write triangle BPQ is similar to triangle APC using AA similarity criterion. So, using AA similarity criterion, we are getting this relation. Now, we know that if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding sides will be proportional. So, let us write their corresponding sides. Here we can write the ratio of line segment BQ and PQ is equal to the ratio of line segment AC and PC. So, here we can replace the line segment PC. Here we can see that we can replace here the line segment AC as per the given figure. AC is equal to BC because they are equal sides of the triangle. So, here we can write AC is replaced by BC. Further, here we can replace PC by 3 upon 7 times BC. So, here we can write PC is equal to 3 upon 7 times BC. So, here on the right side of this equation, we can see that BC will be cancelled out from numerator and denominator part. So, what we will get? And we also have the length of BQ which is equal to 4 centimeter. Then PQ is equal to here we are getting 1 upon 3 by 7. So, when we further simplify this, then what we will get here? The value of length of line segment PQ, which is equal to 12 divided by 7 centimeter. So, 12 divided by 7 centimeter is the length of line segment PQ that we have to determine. That means, from the options, here we can see that third option is the correct answer because in third option, we are getting the length of line segment PQ is equal to 12 upon 7 centimeter. Now, the answer for this question is option number 3. Now, friends, we can also solve this question using cosine formula. Now, I hope this question is clear to everyone. Now, let us move forward to question number 57.